Hello and welcome to another episode of Space Engineers. As we are back on the PC here, I have been making a lot of Xbox tutorials, but it did just come out, so I'm going to pound through those for a while. But I wanted to give you guys my retractable solar tower here before I go ham on making even more of those Xbox tutorials. So here we are, standing on top of the solar spot. I have prepared everything that I need in order to get this started. So if we drop down here, we have a level that is seven blocks down, sort of one of my rooms, my standard room sizes. And down here, we've brought up a pipe with a whole bunch of building repairs on it, such that everything is ready to go. And I'm just going to do is I'm just going to go to my projectors here and turn them all off to make sure that doesn't cause any lag. But I have the plan in my head of what this is going to look like. And primarily, we're going to have, we can, I can throw this down to start at least, is a 1x5 piston. We're going to need a seat somewhere in here so that we can control this bad boy. Probably right there would be perfect. On top of this piston, we will have a rotor so that we can control the, uh, the, the left and right movement with then a piece of armor on top. And then on each side, a rotor, but we're going to take that part off because we're going to put small block on there, and these will control the up and down portions of the thing. So let's go on here, add small head, and on this one, we'll add small head. Wonderful. Now, I'm going to have to extend this bad boy out, and we might as well go through and do all of the naming and such as we go. So this is going to be solar tower everything. Do, do, do. Wow. This is a rotor, solar tower base. And this will be rotor, solar tower arm one. And rotor, solar tower arm two. Excellent. Excellent. Now that we can jump into here, we can stare up in that way and get the solar tower. Let us extend the piston up. Now, the base, of course, everything will um, share that under the tensor, so everything's nice and firm and will work perfectly. Solar tower base can have unlimited to unlimited. And solar tower arm is going to be 0 to 90. And 0 to 90. So that way, they're not going to be uh, flopping around too much. But temporarily, while I'm building, I'm going to lock up these arms. So that they don't uh, wander off and do anything silly. So that should be enough to fully extend out and clear the area so that I can build all of my solar panels up here. And the only other question is, do these uh, build and repairs reach? Do they? Show that area, please. Uh, no. Okay, I gotta move them forward a bit. Let's move them. Repair it should be the only ones that I haven't named. Yep, and we'll just slide you forward, forward offset. You can see that one. Oh no, wait, not forward offset. Which direction is this? Oh, up offset. My mistake. Completely the wrong thing. Up offset, vertical offset. There we go. Now you can see it coming up from the bottom. So yeah, we'll do, say, 50 meters additional. And that should be, yeah, more than enough in order to encapsulate the building area that I'm going to be working on. Perfection. Oh my god, build and repair. Oh, I miss you on Xbox. 
<laughs> so bad. I miss it so much. So, the plan being, what we're going to do is we are going to have pistons. Because pistons make my life easy. I was going to do some, like, rotor folding thing, but... My god, that does not want to work out for me. So here is the design that I've come up with. And we're going to do a mini version of it first. And then I'll do a larger version of it. And I believe it's three blocks. Or at least, not a larger version, but I'll uh, continue building it for the rest of this here. And you won't see me do a whole bunch of the uh, repetitive building. And it is four, no, five blocks for sol per solar. All right. So five, and then another one, two, three, four, five. Excellent. Solar. Okay. And then we just have to do the ten blocks. Another couple. And then we can slap down the solar on here. And extend this beam out one more block and then slap down the solar on it all right so the idea being and let me plop another control seat here just so i have a place to uh land and work while this is functioning okay the idea being what we're going to do is we are going to very slowly rotate these little rotors here so if i turn them up for velocity it's going the right direction excellent so i'm going to set its upper limit to 85 and i've done some testing and 85 works perfectly and its lower limit of course is going to be zero now i'm going to go set that for all of these three here and what the idea being is that as we extend out these three pistons here and we rotate all of these rotors to 85 make sure yep positive velocity is the right way for this all of these guys are going to lie down on top of each other just overlapping enough that they're essentially just doing the uh the, the place where the blocks are and the rotors are those will get overlapped but that's okay all right so these three rotors here this is going to be rotor let's go uh, solar tower mm, what would they call these solar tower not arm solar tower something small rotor I don't know not sure what to call these but solar tower small is fine at least for now and once I go through and build all this off camera, uh, I can rename them properly. Tower small. There we go. And then for these piston, solar tower. Ooh, arms. <laughs> solar tower arm. Excellent. So now. If we look over at this, and we'll grab our spectator camera if it's not too far away. Oh, it was way to the bottom of the, uh, the thing there. What we should be able to do is go to that solar tower arm for the pistons and reverse them out, and they'll start extending. And then we go to the small rotors and we give them a little bit of velocity and the rotors are going to lay down the solar tower and they're going to rotate these guys into position such that they are overlapping just slightly and realistically is overlapping the armor block and the base of them with all of the solar cells being exposed and I wonder why these guys are not building. Do we have any solar cells in 
But we don't. So that's why they're not building. Oh, and I probably didn't put them onto the uh, build and repair group. Now, didn't I? I certainly didn't. Because I should name them build and repair. Solar. <laughs> and then toggle them off, toggle them on. And this one is my, uh, which one is my active program for build and repair? They are both off. Huh. All right, let's, uh, let's turn this one on. There you go. Now you're building stuff. All right, there we go. Silly automation was broken. But as you can see, they're just barely overlapping here, but none of the solar cells are overlapping. So what I found out is that I could have a total of five of these sticking out and be able to fit within the area there. So the idea being is that I will be able to go to our solar tower I will be able to take our small rotors here and reverse them back up at the same time taking these pistons reversing them in and then taking the whole tower and reversing it down and pulling it all back into place and it is going to be beautiful Oh, dear God, this, this <laughs> the share nurse and tensor is probably not the best thing in the world. <laughs> uh, this might be clangtastic. Uh, yes, this very well might be very clangtastic, but I'm going to build it and it's going to be great. i got to get that <laughs> base one. Okay, the one on the base there. I got. I can't type anymore. I'm laughing. Uh, yeah, base. Can you? Can you get back to? Let's set you to zero. How about for your upper and lower limit, please? Thank you. <laughs> I'll lock you there. Uh, all right. I guess we're not going to share inertia tensors on the uh, the little rotors and stuff <laughs> because that just is gonna it's gonna break the world. Okay, so the idea being that we reverse the tower up, and then as soon as we've cleared, we reverse the pistons, and we reverse the small rotors, and the tower will expand out and deploy into prettiness and then once we're up here and fully deployed I'm gonna write a, a timer such that everything will be in groups so the deploy button will be unlock all the rotors allow like I'll unlock all the small rotors rotate them their duration then extend out the pistons then relock all the rotors and pistons and everything and then pass it off to these guys to start uh, rotating with uh, Izzy's solar alignment script and it should be fun <laughs> okay so now we need a little bit more here so this can as we'll just we'll pack it all back in uh, da, 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 solar tower Rotors reverse, arms reverse, base reverse, not base, um, this thing. Pull me back in. We should be able to fit another couple on here, if I am not mistaken. And I'll just do that down here, actually in the area, so we can see how close this is to fitting. Yeah. Nope. Come on. Silly thing. I know I told it to move, but still, stop moving. <laughs> I can't aim. 
I'm not that good. So, it should be one more. If my testing is correct. Oh yeah, that's... Oof. That is close. But it's perfect. It just has to be close. It doesn't have to be, um... Any farther away than that. Because everything will be pointing upwards. And so who cares at that point? Okay, so then we need a couple more solar panels here, there, there, and here, and. Oh, that was hanging off the edge a slightly bit. Piston, a solar tower arm. Gotta rename these so I know how to find them. <laughs> Power arm. And then a couple more of the rotors. Tower small. And one more. Solar tower. If I can spell properly, small. Excellent. And then that is all nicely packed away like so. Then we're going to combine that, of course, do the exact same thing on this side, as well as we should be able to do here, here, all the way along. And this can get one block high, or one block in with one solar thing. Like so. And then on this other side, it will have the other portion of the middle section. One, two, three. Within a rotor. And a rotor. One, two, three, four, five. And there's a nice little gap there. Which will be just fine. I was thinking of actually connecting these two sides together, but it was just mm, bothersome enough. But I, you know, I actually could do it. Let me let me think about that because what I could do, if I jump into the spectator camera, I could pull these together with the rotor displacements for the arms these two big boys I could take this rotor displacement and I could pull it in so that it's as tight as possible I can also make that as wide as possible if I want and I could fit another block in the middle of it right there because I do have the advanced welding pad and th those do work on here because I I could definitely fit one more block in the middle there. And then I just need to take these pistons and take their displacement down a little bit. Yeah, that would work. I could so totally do that. So let's take these displ piston displacements down, if I can sp speak properly. And then go to the arms okay 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 yeah all right we'll take this and let's take this all the way down to practically zero there we go because what we need to do is we need to get a block in there oh, and then we're gonna have to get the um the weld pad on either side, which is the annoying part. Is it in there? <laughs> yes! <gasps> that works. It's connected. Oh, that'll help with the stability, I think. 
And, oh, ooh, this should. This should, if I'm not mistaken, especially when it's um, extended outwards, be more than enough clearance for this to raise up to 90 to be tracking the sun. Excellent. Yeah, that definitely works. And on the edge here, I have more than enough room. So yeah, the idea being is that I'm going to copy this out and do this for the entire area here. So this might take a little while to, for me to do all this manually, especially if my game likes to freeze like this. But I'll get this done real quick here and we'll do all the fine adjustments off camera because I need to make sure that every single rotor is set to 85 degrees and it all they all have to be set in the same direction and they all have to be set with the same um, velocity so that I can just group them all and then just hit reverse for them all to work properly. But once I get all that set up, I will come back and uh, we'll take a look at the tower fully deploying. But for now, I'll be right back. And after working into the night for the longest time, we have the solar tower. Oh my god, I believe it's complete. After so much finicking around with different little panels and setting up each individual little rotor and each individual little piston, holy crap. If I did not have build and repair or build vision, this thing would have taken me days to build. Thankfully, looking at my recording, I've only been recording for an hour and a half. More than likely, you're only going to see about a third of that in the actual video. But this is all functional here. <laughs> Jump in. We'll get into spectator camera. And two is our pistons. So we can piston and rotor. Oh! <laughs> it's so pretty! It's so pretty! I'm I'm broken. Oh my god, it's so pretty. It's <laughs> look how big it is. Uh, uh. And then you can just pull it all back in. And then we go to the base of it. Solar tower base. And just uh oh not the dear god, not that. Solar tower. Mm, yep. And then we'll just, uh, we'll just bring the whole thing inside. <laughs> oh, I gotta get that on my bar here. I'll put that a nine. Solar tower. This big boy here. Reverse. And. <sighs> it's just gonna retract inside. Just barely fits. Oh my god. Ah, yes. So, the only downside right now is that we are sticking out the top a little bit, yes. Well, I'm going to build like a dome thing or something on top of this to make this look cool. And as that game freezes up here for a moment, because of course it does. Oh, that's probably going to be it for this episode. I have been recording for far too long. You're only going to see a portion of that. As there was literal hour of me going around and build visioning every single little component to rename it so that I could then find it in the... Uh, uh, my massive control panel here, and then get it into position so that it worked properly. I There could theoretically be more compact ways of building this, but I think for my 9x9, this is 
pretty good. So as soon as I stop freezing here, as my space engineers loves to do, I just wait for it. It always comes back. We'll, we'll, let's, uh, use our magical powers to bring the sun up and, uh, deploy our solar tower into the beautiful sun. And I kind of want to ride it up as it's, uh, deploying. It'll be wonderful. Ah, here we go. We're back. So use our magical powers to use the time of day offset. Let's just bring the sun back up here. Oh, look, there's the sun again. And we'll start sending it out. Once we've cleared, we'll start pistons and rotors. And then we ourselves will just jump onto it here and walk along it as, oh, it extends out. Oh, so beautifully. <laughs> ah. And now all you have to do... Oh, don't you dare clang. Don't you clang this. This is going well. Don't you clang this. Then all I have to do is just get these two rotors here. I'll make one a drive rotor and one a coast rotor, like I did for a lot of these. And, uh, yeah, and then I'll get it to Izzy's tracking script and I'll track the sun with it. I can't remember if I've cut that section or not where I talked about driving and coasting. I'll just go over it again here. Essentially, where these ones are connected and they're both rotoring the center portion, one is driving it, one is actually on, and one is coasting one is actually off so that way they're not trying to compete with each other and it just makes it a little bit easier but there we go a uh, <laughs> giant solar panel ah uh, ah success well, that is going to be it for this episode next episode we'll automate this bitch We'll get it spinning around, and we'll get it tracking the sun, and we'll have it so that it is, it's a one-button deploy and one-button retract using a various timer blocks. But that is going to be it for now. Thanks for watching, and good hunting out there, fellow space engineers.